Hi, this is Lana Lisa Williams, aka <clears throat> Survival Woman. I'm a little horse today. And I'm in Central California where it's really hot, like, I don't know, 110 degrees out there. Yeah, super hot. <laughs> and um, so now I'm in my room. I was driving around and it just is incredibly hot. So I hope you're in a cool place with someone you love. And um, this is June, June 26, I think, 2022. And um, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Um, America is a great place to live. And I'm wearing a red, white, and blue kind of dress, yeah, with flowers. <laughs> and um, I'm not ashamed of America or of the red, white, and blue. And we have so much freedom here to express our opinions and to protest peacefully and freedom of the press to write things and publish them, freedom of religion to believe what we want um, and freedom of speech to say what we want. Yeah, without being censored. So I'm against censorship. Yeah, really? Come on. I have been censored um, by YouTube for one of my videos called It's All About Control, which is no longer available because YouTube took it down and warned me. You just can't say things like it's all about control. Okay, yeah, right. Maybe I can. Maybe you just don't like them. But America has freedom to speak and freedom to believe and freedom to protest and freedom to publish things. And if you think it's better to live in Russia or Turkey or China, where I taught English, yeah, and lived, then go check it out for yourself and live there, please. And go without a credit card or a backup plan or money or security guards. Um, go without any, any backup plan or safety net and see how that works out for you. So I taught English in Russia for a while, and it was sad. I mean, post-communism, and Putin's kind of a dictator, as we all see that now. <laughs> and then I taught in Turkey the longest, two and a half years, and there are some things about Turkey I would really like to forget. <clears throat> I learned a lot, though. And then I taught in China for two years, a communist country, where, I mean, they're surveilling their people so much, it makes me never want to touch a smartphone again. Uh, they're surveilling everyone with cameras there, and they shut down the whole city of Shanghai, uh, yeah, for a few COVID cases, and they weren't even people dying from it. It was just like crazy, and that's not a good thing, the communist government. Communism is founded in blood and on the skulls of humans, and millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people have been killed by communists, by communism. If you don't believe that, you just read about the history of Russia or China or even Vietnam or Korea. But I'm especially going to talk about Turkey today a little bit um, because you can have communism or you can have a dictator. Now, I believe Erdogan, President Erdogan, uh, Recep Erdogan of Turkey is a dictator and he's an Islamic extremist and he has cut down on the freedoms of Turks. Um, a hundred, over a hundred years ago, quite a bit over a hundred years ago, Ataturk um, brought Turkey into the 20th century and created a, a democratic republic kind of state where there was finally freedom of religion and freedom of the press and freedom to dress how you liked and freedom of speech. Um, and now Turkey's not like that. No, when I was there, it wasn't like that. And in fact, I protested for freedom with Turks in Istanbul. I got chased by police officers. I got pepper sprayed. And you're not really protesting until you get pepper sprayed in the face and um, get a brick and you see bricks being thrown around you um, and you get chased by the police. That's And there are water cannons everywhere. And 
water and, and a mix of pepper spray. I protested for freedom with Turks because I believe that the Turkish people have the right to protest and they should have the right to speak and to assemble together peacefully and to believe what they want and that Erdogan should not dictate this is how it's going to be and close down Christian churches, which he's done, and turn Christian churches into mosques, which he's also done, even though there are hundreds of thousands of mosques in Turkey, and I do not exaggerate that number. So... Erdogan and I have a thing, and I wrote a couple of books about Turkey, and I just wanted to briefly mention um, a couple of things. So I'm going to show you uh, my covers of my book. This one is Walk With Me in Turkey. It's my first book about Turkey, and it's more like a guide. You know, what can you do? What can you see? Yeah, I'll hold it up. Um, what's in Turkey? This is a traditional view of Turkey. The It's a palace in Istanbul. Yep. And you can visit it. It's the Sarayi. Sarayi means palace in Turkish. Saray. Yep. Beautiful uh, place to go visit where the Sultan had his harem. No joke. And beautiful artwork. And those are just the doors. And the doors are so high that like the N in my name would be the top of my head if I walked down through those doors. And this is like traditional Turkey. And it, there's some beautiful things about Turkey, just totally beautiful. Um, the sultans of the 1500s ruled and had an amazing kingdom which interacted with the West. So then I have a contrast, which is oh, my personal favorite. I, protest, I protested for freedom with Turks. I kind of left out the the in the second version, but anyway. And that's a picture of Ataturk being held up by a, a friend of mine, actually. This guy is holding up a picture of Ataturk, the founder of Mount, modern Turkey. I know. And he has, he at least used to have a gay bar in Istanbul. Yeah, a gay bar, gay club, you know. And these are some of his guys out there protesting for freedom of speech. And one of the guys next to him is wearing the Turkish flag. Anyway, so yeah. June is Pride Month. And, you know, I believe that the Turks have the right to protest and to state their opinion. And I've heard that, I know this is a fact, I get updates, turn this around, I get updates from the American consulate in Turkey, in Istanbul, and Pride Month has been canceled by dictator Erdogan in Turkey, who is an Islamist extremist. Yeah, and he has no high opinion of homosexuality or Pride Month, and he has made the traditional Pride March of Istanbul illegal. And they so the Turks took the Pride March to the American embassy, and there was a notice to all Americans who are associated with the American embassy to be careful, don't come there, because the police might show up with pepper spray cannons and water cannons and who knows, bullets. <laughs> um, people were killed during the protests of 2013, the freedom protests, before Erdogan completely clamped down as a total dictator of Turkey. Uh, you may have read that in Istanbul, it's not exactly a safe place to live. Um, people who have been dissidents against um, the Saudis, for example, get killed in Istanbul, and even Jewish t uh, tourists have been kidnapped and held for ransom or killed. And Christians have been uh, put in prison for a year and a half. I met the pastor who was put in prison for a year and a half just being a Christian. Yeah, how's that for religious toleration, Erdogan? You have, Erdogan has, he has, I'll just say he, I'm not going to say you because I don't know him. Um, he has a, a distinct way of looking at the world and that does not give you the right to freedom of belief or freedom to protest. And I just wanted to say, if you think that Erdogan's, uh, a good man. If you think that Islamist extremist is good, just research how the pride parade in Istanbul was canceled for the last few years and considered illegal. And if you think America is so bad, then you just go to Turkey. See how that works out for you. Okay? Or Russia or China. My least place would be China because they are really clamping down on the people. Just a few thoughts I'd like to leave you with because, you know, I wear a rainbow cross because Jesus made all the colors and the rainbow is actually a Christian symbol. Uh, it's a Jewish symbol. It's a world symbol. It's God's promise not to rain on the earth to cover it like he did in the days of Noah. It's a promise from God to be merciful. 
and um, God loves everyone and I love all the colors and I think that we should be happy that we live in America and we can say what we want. And if you don't like it here, oh, a few people, I would like to mention my name, AOC. Yeah, that woman in uh, Congress. Uh, this is LLW saying, you don't like it here in America. You want communism? Please go to China, live there. Go to Russia, live there. Go to Turkey, see how that works out for you, okay? Anyone who thinks you want to burn America down to the ground or turn it into communism, please go live in a communist country or a dictatorship or a post-communist country with a dictatorship. See how that works out for you. This is Lana Lisa Williams at the end of June 2022 saying, Jesus loves you and I am glad I live in a country where I can say that. Goodbye.